Hi everyone, Jambari Pso. You're watching Cooking Cambodian Food with Alyssa. And in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make soupy soup. And in Cambodia, we call it soup chnat day. The reason why I'm doing this tutorial today is because the weather is kind of cloudy outside. It was raining yesterday. So I thought it's a perfect day to make some soup. This is very common in Cambodia, soup chnak day. Um, most of the time people would go out with their family or friend with this special occasion, maybe like a birthday or a graduation party. So they would go out, you know, to the restaurant and basically, you know, spend a lot of money for this um, soup. So I'm going to show you how to make it, my version. Um, so let's get started by making the soup stock. So you would need some chicken bone. This is the quarter leg bones. I just debone the, you know, the meat and just, um, just cleaning the bone. And here I have some chicken, chicken feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the stock by using the leftover chicken bone from the quarter leg that we deboned last week. So follow me. Oh, and for the chicken stock, the chicken stock, I use one can of the chicken broth just for flavor. And you will also need some soup base mix. Okay, so here's the bone. I'm gonna put in the in my pot. So again, when you make soup, you always want to get a big pot. So in my soup, I already have two yellow onion, three medium-sized carrot. You know, just chop it up, maybe about two inches and a bag of sweet radish. And I put two tablespoons of salt in here already. So now I'm gonna put in the bone. This is a whole bag of the quarter, the quarter leg. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of the chicken soup mix. So earlier, I, there's one can of the soup, uh, the broth in here ready. Just wanted you guys to know that. So that's go my pot. I'm going to let this cook for a good 50 minutes. So I'll cover that. And my next pot here, this is for my chicken feet. And I put one tablespoon of salt in here ready. And I'm going to cook my chicken feet for only 30 minutes. Okay. And once the chicken feet is cooked, I'm going to drain it and let it sit aside. And then I'm going to add the chicken, the chicken feet into my stock later on. So while it's cooking, we're going to pause and I'm going to prep the condiments for the soup chunk. Hi guys, we're back. So while my soup is um, still cooking, so I'm going to show you how to prepare your condiments. So here we have the vegetable. You can choose any vegetable that you like. This is some of the vegetable that I found in the store and was available. I have some straw mushroom. This goes very well with the soup. And here I have some bok choy. This is very well too with the soup. And some on choy and some green napa. You just want to clean it and just cut it into small pieces like the napa, the napa cabbage, you know, just cut it in half. And for the cilantro, we just gonna we just cut the stem off a little bit, and we're just gonna you know put a hole like that. So that's our condiments for the vegetable. And then here we have the meat. So again, any seafood, any kind of meat you would like. We just happen to have some shrimp. And then here we have some sliced sliced beef thin, and some meatball. We just cut into uh, three section, and also some imitated crab and we just cut into three sections and here we have some squid and if you don't know how to clean squid there's a lot of ways to clean it this is how I do it I just take this little teeth out just take it out and also remove the the, well, the bone of it and we just you know cut in half and I like the inside of it uh, some people don't but I prefer it because it's Tastes better that way. So we already clean this already. I just show you how to do that. So that's for the squid. Let me clean my hand and I'll show you because um, the soup's always almost ready, ready. Okay. 
So when we paused, uh, it was over 50 minutes already. I removed all the bone, just the bone, the carrots, and the radish. So don't throw this away. This you can reuse this for the next morning. You know, if you're you, if you still want to make some more, you can you know go to the second round and reuse this, which is it's still good. Here, so I remove everything out, and I added six more cups of water to my pot, and and I also add in one whole one whole garlic. I just smash it and put the garlic in there, and then just remove the garlic out. So now I taste it a little uh, earlier. It just need a little bit more salt and a more um, uh, chicken soup. So I didn't use any fish sauce and I didn't use any. So I'm just gonna add one more tablespoon of the chicken soup mix and then one more tablespoon of salt and then that should be it should be perfect already. So here's my one tablespoon of salt. Again, if you have a small pot, make sure you taste it because I have a big pot and I usually don't know how much salt and I, um, I need with, with this pot. So I'm going to just take a test, I mean a taste, just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure. Perfect. So total, I used three tablespoons of salt and three tablespoons of the soup mix. So now my soup is done. And remember the chicken feet I told you about earlier? So it was cooked. I drained it out and I cleaned it with cold water and I set aside. And you know, when you cook your chicken feet, I forgot to tell you earlier, make sure you chop off the nail. So now this is boiling. I'm gonna put in my chicken feet in there. And the chicken feet already cooked already. I'm just gonna let it sit. And then I'm gonna turn off my my stove, and then we're ready to eat dinner. And I will show you how to enjoy the soup chenang dai. See you in a bit. Hi guys, we're back. Um, my family is about to have dinner. We are about to eat the suki soup or soup chenang dai. I forgot to tell you earlier. We eat this with noodle. You can choose any noodle you want. Um, these three different kinds that we have here, we have two fresh kind, they're all egg noodle, and then we have some dry one. So, now I'm going to show you how to make the dipping sauce. There's a lot of ways to make your sauce, but, you know, we like to do the easy way. We just get some poison sauce, and you could mix and match any way you want. Poison sauce, or what, um, sriracha, my son favorite. You can mix this two up, or you can do this. The ground chili sauce. You can mix that with the hoisin sauce and that all together. Or you can use this sauce, the soybean curd sauce. So these sauce you use to dip your meat. So when this comes to a boil, it looks like the soup is about to come to a boil. We are going to put in the uh, meat first. And then after that, we put the noodle. After the noodle, and then we're going to put in the vegetable. So here's the sauce that David did. So David, tell them what's, what do you put in your sauce in here? Put uh, poison Poise. sauce, uh -huh. sriracha, uh -huh. and uh, some kind of spicy chili. Like uh, the garlic chili? Yeah. So you used all three sauces, right? Yes. Okay, and it, does it taste good to you? For me, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So um, we're going to pause a little bit. When that comes to a boil, I will show you how it all comes together and how my family enjoy this dinner. See you in a bit. Okay, we're in action now. So here's Angelina. She's eating the, mm. the soup chenang bai. How is it, baby? Good. It's good. Okay, what do you have in your bowl? Um, I have squid, uh -huh. chicken feet, meat bar, and noodle. Okay. Can you taste it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I want to see you eat it. Low, ooh, hot, hot one. Dawa. Mmm. Is it mm -hmm. good? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what you, what you put in your sauce? Just hoisin sauce? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And here's Dylan. He's eating his noodle. And there's David. And there's our soup chnak day right there. You see that? Isn't that colorful? Look, you see the chicken feet, you see the carrot, you see the shrimp, you but see the meatball, you see the, the crab. And there's my Vincent baby, Juliana. Juliana. Yeah. Hey, say hi. Hi. Oh, you like your soup goat? Shall I eat? Look, that one's gonna. Careful. Mm hmm. Okay. Hey, Dylan, let me see how you eat your beef. <coughs> you just dip the beef in there, right? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mmm, does it good? Yeah. Ma? Show them. Ow. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Try it. Mm hmm. Mmm. Okay, David, your turn. Try it. Yeah. Good? You say eating. Huh? It's easy? No, it's a busy eating. Busy eating? <laughs> yeah, how about my husband? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. But what you can do it every day, okay? Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. <laughs> what number one to five? Okay, one to ten. What number you gotta give me? What number? Ten. Uh, ten? Um, Good. Yeah? Two hundred million. Two hundred million, they can tell me. Oh, we burp. Oh, excuse you. My goodness. Okay. There you go, guys. Soup chanang day or suki soup. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And again, if you like my recipe or like my cooking show, my channel, don't forget to press like, share, comment, and subscribe. So I will be more motivated to cook for you guys. If not, I won't do it anymore, so don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.